Hey, what is going on adventure lovers? And welcome back to a little more Grand BS sequel. Hey, amazing, we're officially three quarters of the way through this game. Trouble is, I get a feeling we're going to start getting very lost very quickly. There's a needle of rock in the middle of the clearing. Okay. It didn't look like a natural formation. I remembered the interesting log. For is it not writ that tis easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle? Seemed pretty relevant now. Camel? We got anything camel like? Maybe the net? I could see no point in tying the net to the creepers on the rock. Damn. Yeah, typical. Okay, let's have a look. The creeper lay on the ground, uh, looking pretty crept out. Can we just pocket this? The creeper felt unpleasant and fleshy. Creeper on rock? Um, let's have a look. Nah. Damn. Okay, let's try some stuff. Ah, he likes it. The net attached easily enough to the creeper and seemed secure. Sweet, let's try now. I guess we do it here. Oh, you bastard. Right, what else could we do? Panties. Uh, Theodolite. Shiny. Ah, he likes the shiny. Great. I created some sort of creeper marker. Okay, and then we set the th theodolite maybe up genius. here. We can shine off it. Surely we just chuck it up now. Creeper with net and marker. Nice, there we are. I'd successfully got the marker into a position near the top of the needle simply by using the kind of lateral thinking that can get you institutionalized. Okay. Very glad we were able to just create that with everything we had on hand, but not sure what it's that used for. Up, the marker should be visible for miles. Okay, so now we can... Anywhere else? Both of these ways go back. I think we found that out last episode. Okay, off to a suspiciously good start. Oh, fuck, we're back here. Hmm. Oh, well, we can't even go back. That's a bit rough. Let's do this then. Yeah, that rock spire or whatever it was called, that seemed to be the only selectable thing on screen. And we didn't try it, but I assumed you couldn't um, bring the creeper with you, seeing as he doesn't pick it, put it, put it in his pocket. So, good that we did some experimenting there. So that goes back there. Ah, what if... Ah, the boar still has the dart. I wasn't about to try that again. I'm way too attached to my fingers. Okay, let's leave. How do we get there again? It was the path of the boar.
nothing down here. Sweet, let's go. Um, as of now, I have no idea what we're going to be playing when we beat this. So if anyone has got any recommendations, now is a perfect time to give me a shout. And thankfully, I'm quite ahead with the recordings for once. Go this way, I suppose. Doesn't seem like we can go back to Rio. Can we see the gimmick from here? Nah, doesn't seem it. Okay. There has to be more to this screen. It was a stout overhanging branch. Climbing the tree wasn't going to help any in this situation. Okay. Nah. Perfect fit, but don't know why we were doing it. Yeah, good reaction, Georgie. Okay, so... Okay, we've got to be missing something. I wasn't going to pull it down now I'd got it up there. Okay. It's still too slippy. Yeah, I really don't see what else to do here. Hmm. Yeah, like, seriously, nothing here matters, right? Cool. So, that branch may do something. Don't quite see how we activate that, though. So maybe there's more to the swamp area. So we've got that and that and that. Okay. You'd probably just say no because we've got one already. One read was enough. Yeah, thought so. Oh no, I wasn't going in there. It was a stagnant swamp. Um, okay. Swamp coal. Stone coal. Hmm. Ah, mosquitoes or something, yeah? Rough. Drink it. I'd seen it done in movies. The hero eludes his foe by hiding underwater, breathing through a hollow reed until it's safe to come out. I was glad I didn't have a foe to elude. Okay. No, no idea, guys. Probably no point in putting anything on the reeds. Stay cool, Stobart. It was only a bird. What a creepy swamp. OK. 
Okay, so I reckon we just have to set the theodolite up somewhere. But, um... I don't really see where. Let's have a peek. I've put the marker in place, but what do I do next? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Okay. The creature disappeared again, but I caught a glimpse of something small and furry. Wonder what it is. Does it like coal? The shame it is still selectable. No, not again. Okay, just in case. Uh, no, we checked if it was a panty creature before. Hmm. Oh. oh. I swear for a second that looked like it was pointing it up. No. Okay. Right, let's go back to the main beach, just in case. We'll just double check we can't Theodolite or go back to Rio. And then, realistically, we may take another mid-episode break. I don't know what it is of adventure games, but I always get stuck on the jungly parts. It was the same in Escape from Monkey Island as well. Okay, let's see. No, really doesn't seem it. Hmm. Let's go here. Ah, not this exit. Hmm, very unfortunate. Let's do it. Perfect. <coughs> 76, nice. Um, yeah, guys, it is late and like I say, jungles don't usually work well with me. So take a break, come back to this, I think. See you shortly. Break done. Let's have a think. So as far as I can tell, we've pretty much done everything we can do. No, I had to think of something else. No, that's wrong. Hmm. The reed was a lot shorter since that creature had savaged it. Okay, so potentially could still use this somehow. I don't think so. It was Bronson's theodolite. Hmm. That was no good. Okay, let's let's not do that. So I still think we must have somehow just missed a little indicator. There must be an area we just haven't gone to yet. Because we do seem very stuck. I think give it five, ten minutes and then unfortunately we may have to take a puzzle hint. So I've put a marker in place. What do I do next? Let's try and keep that in mind as we go along. A clump of reeds grew out of the stinking swamp. Okay. So, we can come in this way, but we can't leave. There's nothing we can do there that I can see. So, let's try. 
No, it definitely doesn't seem like we've missed anything that I can tell. Oh. I saw something pop up. It may have just been that swamp. Oh. Swamp. Any... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Swamp panties? Yeah, makes sense. I don't really know what that was about myself. Uh, swamp statue. Swampery? Um, I think we've done this before. Uh, uh. Yeah, he doesn't want to get in. What the... <laughs> Steady, guy. It's just a monkey. Get out of here, monkey. Yeah, cool. Let's go. Maybe it's something to do with the hidden creature. But, um... Yeah, I really don't know. And I've got no ideas. Ah. <laughs> he looked, hey, cool, Stobart. It was only a bird. looks so terrified in the picture. Okay. Ah, so you see here, you just have to go loosely near something and the indicator will pop up. You don't have to necessarily be hovered over it. Yeah, how far can we just walk around? Nope, not that. Oh yeah, we got a secret here. I never realized that before. Yo, this is it guys, now we're talking. Let's actually lock it in. Perfect. Yeah, so, just to show you guys. In case you're wondering why that took so long. So, roughly all of this area here is to go back to the previous section below. But there's a very thin overlap here. And the finger's pointing the exact same way. So, easy to see, but in hindsight, you can see the path actually creeps around. But yeah, very unfortunate there. Hold on. I've been here before. Haven't I? Yes, mate, we finally got here, and it's excellent. Let's have a look around. Okay, so we've got one here. Really, nothing interactable at all. Well, who knows if... I thought I saw something pop up. I think it's just these flying things. So I'm thinking we're probably going to go through here to somewhere quite high up. And then we can put this down. Let's see if the prediction is correct. Have a one last look. Don't think anything's popping up. Shit. Ah, but now we can go back here slightly helpful okay we probably have to find some way to get to this top path this looks fairly blocked okay very unfortunate oh wait definitely nothing yeah Damn, that really is unfortunate. Okay, what if we go back? Ah, yeah, so we'll have to somehow go back. We can make it up to the top bit, and then I guess we gain access up here, and then it's probably up here by the looks of it. Okay. What is this? The magic forest of deja vu or something? But how did we get there? Let's have a think. J 
just because if we do this, ah, this is actually going to be a different path rather than this top path, surely. Yes, I think we're on to the perfect. Now we're talking, guys. Okay, so we've got this way and nothing up here. Perfect. Let's go to it. Ah, oh, I'm all so happy when we don't have to look stuff up. Now so you can just play the game and things start revealing themselves. Also, a lot of these adventure slash point and click games are usually quite logic based. Wait, so how does this forest work? Because this screen should have been before the previous screen. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter as long as we get to the right place. That goes back there. Yes, nothing up here that I can tell. Perfect, where are we going? Nice, that's what we're talking about. But if we'd found it here before doing that whole net slash creeper combination, it would have been awful. Okay, what we got up here? So that's how we leave. Can't leave there. Initials holes. Is that KK I see? Captain Kirch or whatever. I oh, know Captain's not spelled with a K. I forget what his first name was. Initials had been carved into the rock. Initials carved into the stone. Oh, it's an F. F right. K. Frederick Ketch had been here. Perfect. Now, any chance he was up here with a theodolite? Three shallow holes had been made in the rock. Okay, perfect. Looks like that's exactly what we need. Like we jack this from old Bronson. Better use it. The hill I was on had reminded me of a camel's hump as I'd climbed up it. Now I had to see what I could see. Can we just move it? Okay, we can go down. And that's it. No, what? Ah, now we're talking. Okay, can't go up, but can go left and right. I assume it's just going to automatically land on whatever we need. Come on, where's the creeper? Oh. Just in case. No, it goes past the hole. Okay. Ah. An ugly little cave. Didn't look like the sort of place you'd want to leave treasure. Okay, interesting. There was an enormous cave. Every tourist for the last three centuries must have been in that one. Okay, I guess we have to go back. Bit annoying. Oh, no. So, what did it say? Something, something about going through the eye of a needle. Heck, Ketch could have hidden his treasure anywhere. This island's full of hiding places. Damn. Huh? It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. Look, just hidden right at the bottom of the screen. It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. So what does the marker do? Okay, so you can't go left. I thought I saw something shining. 
Okay, back we go. I'm hoping we don't need to do anything else to the marker. That would be annoying. Oh. It was a good cave for hiding treasure in. Shame about the flooding problem. Nice, maybe it was something directly north of the marker that we missed. That's fine, be back there soon. Ah. A needle rock. Eye of the needle? Hmm, not quite. Come on, it's got to be here somewhere. Oh. Heck. Catch. So where was the thing down here, roughly? It was the marker. It was the marker. I could see the marker I had fastened. Ah, because north of the eye of the needle. Language, gotcha. That had to be where Ketch had hidden his treasure. Excellent. So what do we do? Just leave now? Surely. Don't tell me we have to walk all the way back. We must have to just go talk to Rio now. <laughs> um, why do I slightly get the feeling we haven't quite done enough yet? I was kind of hoping we'd just get cutscene back to Rio. Now nah, let's, yeah, let's just head back for now. Okay, and that almost makes an entire episode. Tell you what we will do. Let's save it here. Still 76. Maybe we have missed something. Yeah, that way if we get down back to the beach slash cliff and we can't do anything else, then we'll just load game, so we're back here. Potentially something we missed on the examination. Come on, Georgie. Walk faster, you little bitch. You big yellow bastard. Back to the swamp. Excellent. So now... Oh shit, we have to go this way. Oh, this is properly the long way around. I severely hope we are done. Okay, it should be swamp time now. Perfect. then unfortunately we have to walk around the entire circumference of the swamp actually circumference is just when it's a circle isn't it definitely the wrong terminology then perimeter that'll do god georgie leg it can't you ever jog So this is beach, isn't it? Excellent. Now, we didn't actually do anything of that branch on the tree yet. Ugh, oh, bollocks. Head back to the marker quickly, just in case. Still got no idea what we need our branch for. Maybe the warthog comes back. Ah, just in case. Oh, I thought we'd... Yeah, so we've definitely missed something if this is still the hint on screen. Climbing the tree, it was a stout... 
damn, man. Uh, what was the deal again? We can go north where the marker is. Maybe that will just lead us to the cave. Yeah, up here. I don't quite remember. Maybe that just leads you to the swamp. And that must be where we were looking down from. Cool. Come on. Oh, bastard. Oh, you can't even go back that way. That's so shit, man. Right, I think it's time for another break. Very unfortunate that we've missed something, but I am absolutely elated that we got a little bit of progression. Like I always say, guys, you're finding something challenging or too tough, take a break, come back to it. See what happens. But yeah. Speaking of breaks, that'll do for today. So, if you'd like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding your screen at this very second, then check some of them out. But more importantly, let me know what you thought. Because lost jungle feedback is best feedback. And if you've missed any of the non-theodolite episodes, then catch up. But the main thing, as always, guys, is I hope you're well. Thanks for watching. See you again soon for more Grand BS Adventure sequel.